during COVID, we had to abruptly stop our outpatient appointments and we wanted to try and minimise the amount of footfall through the department. So we discussed and came up with an innovative solution um, to allow us to essentially do cardiac rhythm management in the car park and we were able to get patients to come along for their appointment but remain in their car for the duration of the check. Tablet technology allowed us to do that. We could use the Kernic Express uh, the wireless capabilities of it enable us to uh, perform pacemaker checks from people's cars because we don't need to use extension leads, we don't have to worry about you know, where we're getting power from, sources, etc. like that. It's very efficient. I think this is a significant improvement and it is important. I think that this is the way to do it. It's, it's convenient, it's safe and uh, you, you get to see the patients. I quite enjoyed it really, it was, it was easy, you know, um, having to do it myself, having to, you know, hold the thing on my, on my heart myself, on the pacemaker, um, yeah, it was, it was great, yeah, I think it was a way forward really. So it's really important to realise and recognise that such an initiative like this as an express driving clinic, it's really essential that we offer the ability to take the patient from the car into the hospital if we need to do any advanced measurements or any advanced interrogation of a device. So it isn't just a matter of seeing you in your car, sending you on your way. It's about having the continuity of care and the highest standard of care, irrespective of the environment in which you're seeing the patient. More widely, what it's done is to, is to trigger a series of discussions about what do you actually need people to physically attend hospitals, secondary care uh, institutions for, and what can you do innovatively in new ways using technology, in particular using remote consultations, that we've not done before, largely because the stimulus to make the change wasn't there. And it's always easy to continue doing what you've always done, because that is the path of least resistance. I think it is a very Im impressive exemplar of what you can do uh, under really difficult circumstances. 